Post-game press conference, CSU Pueblo. Uh, we'll begin with an opening statement from Coach, then we'll open it up to questions. Uh, one, uh, it's a great environment tonight, or today, uh, here in Mankato. Um, hats off to Mankato, the way they played. I thought uh, they really took us to us the first half. We were on our heels the whole first half, and then uh, we gained some traction, and, and uh, First, uh, the first drive of this third quarter, I thought it, it was going to end up being a blowout. But our kids showed a lot of heart and determination, and uh, we, we kind of made a game of it. And I'm uh, proud of uh, my 16 seniors that um, gave everything they've got to this program. Appreciate their heart and support. And it was just a tough day to end. My hat's off to men, kid. What would you guys do better after you get down 24 nothing offensively? What did you get going better? Well, I just think we made some plays in the passing game. We were able to protect a little bit. I thought uh, Mankato was just keeping everything in front of them a little bit. We, we weren't able to really run the ball as well we would like, but Mankato did a great job. They're very sound. They're well coached. Darius, uh, you went up against a great receiver in Zilstra. Talk about uh, your battle with him. Yeah, we had a... I think we had a good uh, four quarters of football. Um, we had a lot of shots being taken at us. Their, their quarterback was trying me all day. Um, he's, a, he's a hell of a receiver, big body. He has good control in the air. Um, he shortly had me, uh, he made me play my best ball today. And I feel like, you know, it was, it was a great battle. I could, I'll do it again if I, if I could. Kevin, just kind of talk about uh the offense and just starting slow, but finding some momentum and, and not giving up. Yeah, it's a testament to our team all year. We've had a lot of slow games, a lot of things not going our favor, and we've never had the fight killed in us. Unfortunately, it was just a little too little too late today. Still a lot of missed opportunities left out on the field. It's a lot of things hard to swallow, especially offensively when you don't execute as well as you'd like. Can we talk about the Mavericks defense? Uh, what, what, what problems did they present? Uh, they're just big and fast. Usually we pride ourselves on our run offense. We couldn't get a lot of that going today. We went to the air. We didn't catch nearly as many as we'd like to, so they're good, but we should have been able to execute better. Defensively, I, I thought you guys played very well most of the game. Talk about your defensive effort. You know, our, our, our defense has been our heart and soul of our, our, our team and our program because we lead defense wins championships. And I thought, you know, the first half we, we, we just – just didn't get in a group, you know, and it's the ebbs and flows of playing playoff football, and they, they had it. And then all of a sudden we gained some confidence there in the third quarter, and then um, we switched Darius a little bit up, up on, on that big that kid can play. And Darius did a nice job of shutting him down the second half, shutting him down in the sense of giving us a chance to go compete. And, and uh, so our, our guys just kept playing and kept playing hard. And, that's playoff football, and we weren't able to uh, come out on top. Just talk a little bit about the first quarter. You had the win, and you didn't score. How big was that? Yeah, I think you, you put you back on the hills, and then they were able to throw the ball in the wind. We, you know, they were able to throw and get a couple first downs. I think the second drive they had, they had the quarterback in the pocket. He scrambles. He, he, it was third and seven, and he got seven and a half. And those are the half yards that make a big difference in the, in the games, and they came, came down and drove it. And uh, they're a good team, and we're proud of my group to be here. But uh, we were on our heels a little bit the first half. Darius, talk a little about the two quarterbacks they used. Did you have to make any adjustments for the quarterback? Um, yeah, I feel like when uh, Seven was in the game, uh, we, we were kind of uh, expecting him to do the quarterback power and uh, you know quarterback read RPO. And um, when it was five, when five was in the game, you know we we expect him to sit in the pocket a little bit to take more shots. But um, today, Seven showed that you know he could sit in that pocket and he could really sling that thing. So I was impressed with that. I, I think their quarterbacks were very outstanding in the first half. And third, you know they, they did what they needed to to keep us on our heels. So the quarterbacks and receivers did a nice job. Just for the players, if, if you can at this point uh, put your last four or five years uh, as a member of the pack in a couple of sentences. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to thank uh, Pac Nation. You know, our fans, they're, they're crazy, and I love it. And uh, that was a big big reason why I chose this school. 
Um, I want to thank Coach Riston right here for giving me the opportunity, and uh, Coach Donnell, me and me, my position coach. You know, he's, he's a hell of a coach, and I'm, I'm gonna miss him a lot. Yeah, no, he summed it up well. Love the seniors. Great group that I came in with, even though I came in a year, year later. But it's it's been an amazing ride. Risto and I haven't always gotten along, but it's been nice as of late. But uh, sucks that it's ending. But yeah. I love you, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.